Hey, hey, today I'm here to show you guys how I went from this to a really cute boho lock style in less than two hours. It's super quick and really easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down the braiding pattern. I'm starting by making a middle part going back and stopping at my crown. Then I'm gonna make a curved part on one side. Clip that away and do exactly the same on the other side. Now once I had that semicircle section of hair, I twisted it all together, buttoned it up, and clipped it away from the rest of my hair. On each side of my head are gonna be three horizontal cornrows, so I just split this piece of hair into three mostly equal parts. This is the first part, and simply braid going towards the back. I'm braiding just until I clear the back of my ear, then I'm gonna stop with that one and commence with the next cornrow. Once I've braided that back a few inches, I'm extending the part straight back all the way until I reach the nape of my neck. And then with this top cornrow, I'm gonna connect the three cornrows as I braid all the way down. Now you guys, usually when I do braided styles, I use two mirrors so I can make my parts extremely crisp and straight. This time though, I didn't do that because I just wanted to breeze through and get this done as quickly as possible. And you can see my parts are pretty jagged. However, the good thing about this style is that it really doesn't matter. It still turns out fabulous, even if you don't have perfectly straight parts, which is another thing I like about this look. And once that was completed, I copied it on the other side of my head. Then with the rest of the hair in the back, I'm gonna make six cornrows at the top and those are gonna feed into three larger cornrows toward the bottom. So I'm making thinner parts to start and braiding down about two inches, then start another cornrow and braid down the same amount. Once they're even, I'm combining them into one larger cornrow and braiding to the ends. should look like that and here's the back all done six cornrows at the top going into three at the bottom with each loose end I'm rolling it up and making it flat against the cornrow like this then I'm taking some weaving thread and a needle and securing the hair so it stays flush Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Now with this top hair here, we're gonna do individual plaits. So I'm making sure my center part is straight. Then on each side of that part, I'm gonna do six equal sized sections of hair. And plait each section all the way down. Here you wanna make sure there's not a lot of slack. You wanna plait pretty tightly to the scalp because that'll help the finished product look more polished. One side down, of course the exact same on this side. And the foundation is complete. With the top hair, I'm gonna wind that up and pin it away because that'll be tackled last. Now it's time to install the boho locks. This is the hair I used, Kima Braid 22 inch goddess locks. I bought it for $13.99 a pack. And of course, you know, before I install any hair, I always sanitize it. So I threw the bundles into a tub. I added just enough water so it was all fully submerged. Then I took some vinegar and poured in about two cups. I let it soak for a couple hours. After that, rinse thoroughly under running water, wrung it out, then hung it on some hangers to air dry overnight, and the next day it's clean, fresh, and I won't get any itchiness or irritation when I install it. And I also wanted to let you guys know it absolutely does not smell like vinegar once it's dry because I always get questions about the smell when I show this process in a video. To attach the hair, I'm using a crochet hook. Make sure the hook is open, and starting from the back, I'm gonna slide that open hook into the braid. Then taking the loop end of the crochet hair, attach it onto the hook. Slide the latch closed. Pull the hook over to the other side, then slide the loop of the crochet hair over, and while the hook is open, place the other side of the crochet hair into the hook, close it shut, 
then pull to feed it through the loop of the crochet hair. Remove the hook and pull the rest of the boho lock all the way through, then squeeze to tighten. So in the back I made sure not to crowd them in because I didn't want the final look to be too heavy and dense. So I left a bit of space between each lock, especially in the rear of my head. And this process is really simple and really quick, especially when you get a rhythm going, it kind of just whizzes by. Now here is the process a little closer in so you can better see the details. I slide the open hook underneath the cornrow, attach the loop of the crochet hair onto the hook, close the latch, bring it over to the other side, slide the hair back, and with the latch open, place the other side of the lock into the hook, close the latch, pull that through the loop of the lock, remove the hook, and pull the remaining length of the lock through the looped end, pull down on the base to tighten, and that's it. And finally, with this plaited hair, we're gonna do these one by one. So first, slide the open hook underneath the base of the plait, attach the loop of the lock, close the latch, feed it through to the other side, slide the looped end over, place on the other side of the lock, close the latch, and bring it through the loop. Then pull all of the lock through and tighten. You're going to be left with two pieces, the plait and the lock, and we need to turn these into one seamless piece. So the way to do that is by hiding the plait in the center of the lock. And all you have to do is place the open latch hook a couple inches down from the base of the lock and push it up and through the middle of the lock all the way until you get to the top. Once there, wrap the plait onto the latch, close the hook, and pull it down. And that'll bring the plait inside the lock where it's hidden. Then you just repeat this process until you have the entire length of the plait fully hidden inside the lock. Insert the open hook a few inches down from where you see the plait sprouting from. Feed it up through the middle of the lock. Then place the plait onto the hook, close it, and pull down. Like magic, the plait is gone. Last thing I did was take some edge control and lay down my edges to finish off the style. And here is the finished product. I love the way it turned out. The individual crochets at the top make it a lot more versatile with the parting and it's way more natural looking in my opinion. It's definitely a cheap method since you really can't tell that the rest is cornrowed down. By the way, I ended up using only two packs of the crochet hair. So this style was super affordable, costing less than 30 bucks. The length is really great as well. It's nice and full without being over the top. And it is so lightweight, very comfortable to wear but for me the best part about this style was how super quick it was to do it took me about 45 minutes to make the cornrows and then another 45 minutes to install the locks so in total I was completely finished in about an hour and a half which is absolutely outstanding if you ask me now I kept these in for two weeks and they held up really well the locks were very low maintenance didn't have to do much to them at night I pulled it all up into a high bun tied down my edges and that was pretty much it the one drawback to these though is that after a few days the curls did start to get a little tangled and matted especially at the very back so every day what I would do is just take a few minutes and gently pull the locks apart to keep the matting at a minimum and then for removal just like the installation so easy for the individual locks at the top all you have to do is find where the plait starts take that and pull it out of the lock it slides right out move the plait over to the side then take some scissors and cut the lock a few inches from the top unloop the lock and pull it right from under the plait
Now for the locks that are attached to cornrows, just cut the locks a few inches from the base, undo the loop and pull it right off. As you can see, the removal was a piece of cake. It literally took me less than 10 minutes to get all of the locks out. And now I'm ready for my next hairstyle. <laughs> So yeah guys, I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you over on my next one. Bye.